I don't care who you are, if you don't fish in the rain or when it's colder, like the, just those off days of fish, it's literally when I catch most of my big ones. It's off topic of this video, but literally walking back to my truck from doing that, and I just stuck a freaking Mondo. Old spinner bait action, but all right, catch you guys up if you're new to the channel. You guys see from title and thumbnail, you see this big old Tahoe, and we're putting a 450 horsepower motor into it. My first truck ever, paid super cheap for it. We've come a long ways with it. Like I said, I've, I've got two builds on my channel, one being this bad machine right here and my lift to Tahoe it's a cat eye Tahoe I was just over here fishing and my buddy gave me a call and said he's able to help me because I can't I can't put this in by myself I've been here for a while you know Austin so going to my house to get this motor in this truck today hopefully everything and not, not, not running but just hopefully in that's what we're doing jumping in the truck just put the fishing poles up and we're about to go to my house y'all can see this freaking thing it's what I'm getting ready for guys I came back from bees probably uh, uh, probably about a week ago and um the goal is to get this tahoe running because when i go up there i want to bring it with me so we need to get this motor in the tahoe and the old transit the red truck decided to take shit so we got to get that figured out too already got one ordered old built guy these year models they literally have the worst trains and i took the gamble and uh yeah it went out so we got something good coming we shouldn't have this problem anymore but let's go to the house So back in the house now, you guys probably haven't gotten a motor update in a while. I didn't film some of the stuff putting it on because we've just been so pressed for time trying to get everything rocking and rolling. And the exciting part is of it going in the truck and actually starting up. So let me show you how far she's come. When y'all saw her, it was just blocking heads. And if you want some, some accessories, we got the cool packs on now. All these are brand new. We got our performance wires, performance uh, spark plugs. AC compressor and housing, I threw the belt on, the steering pump and like the housing for the alternator. So all of that's on. So that's the way the motor sits right now. You guys saw me throw the exhaust manifolds on and full pan and we have even the oil filter on. Gotta do now, I did not realize this at the time, but the valley cover needs to come back off. Same with the knock sensors because plate has to go on for us to pick it up on the cherry picker, which is gonna allow us to put the flywheel on because it goes right here. We can't do it with it sitting on this mount. Now let's take her off. As you can see, Austin's removing the hood. I messed up and didn't close it all the way, and I'm pretty sure there is wasp inside the hood or somewhere inside the engine bay. So we need to figure that out. Oh God, look carefully. All right, well, looks like we're clear for wasp. Guess we're missing them. A little, little tiny nest, but there's nothing on it. So I guess they decided to move on somewhere, which is good for us. So let's get the motor on the cherry picker. Y'all just last show you. For anything in life, when you uh, put something on the back burner, and I tried not to, but it's only been about a month, you just kind of forget where things went. There's wiring harnesses on the bottom, there's some on the top, and y'all tell me where does anything go? Because I've I have no clue, but we'll figure it out. We'll get it. We'll get it right. Y'all, update time, and it's the next day. Kind of was a pain in the butt putting this motor in yesterday. And the last video when we were actually pulling this motor out, there's a couple parts that I skipped because it was literally so boring, so tedious, and nobody wants to watch that. That being hooking up the trans, getting the starter in, hooking up the flywheel, tightening all the bolts, hooking up the exhaust, it's just stuff like that you really can't film. I mean, my truck is lifted, so I mean, could get an angle underneath there, but it's dark, it's boring, and you guys can't really see anything. So now that the motor is in, let me show you what it looks like. I'm on my freaking bucket. And by the way, we didn't get all the wasps. One just literally attacked me. It's somewhere on the passenger side by the headlight. I don't know where they're at, but 
They want a war, they don't get one. Oh, she's looking freaking good. That is what we got so far. Plugging some stuff in, just getting it kind of organized, trying to figure out where my harnesses need to go. I need to go ahead and put the valley cover back on with the knock sensors. If y'all don't know, it goes literally right where that plate is. To get that put on, the motor's kind of like sealed up at that point. I'm kind of worried that like, I mean, my hood's been closed, guys, and you can just see all in here. It's just full of pollen, and you want you want to get your motor closed up. Got some dielectric grease. We're all set for that. Honestly, I can walk you guys step by step into doing this, but we all know what we're waiting for is the, the motor to be back the way it needs to be, and hopefully that first startup. So, yo, with that being said, let's just go ahead and roll the time lapse. All right, little update. Water pump, we hooked up most of our cooler lines or AC lines. I'm, just, I'm trying to like get the lines out the way because like I'm still trying to find the harness for the knock sensors. Uh, I got, oh my God, off wasp. I'm gonna you up. Oh shit, I just killed one. I guess there's another. Oh, I've been tearing my ass up. Yeah, I'm just gonna shut the camera off, try to get my harnesses like in the right spot so you can start connecting stuff. Every single harness and connection should be different, so there's never going to be the same except the cool packs and maybe the fuel injectors, but there's a lot of them, so we gotta, we gotta figure this out. All right, guys, this is looking good. I feel like I'm jumping a couple steps, but the thing is, you just gotta, you gotta put stuff on to realize what you're forgetting or how to correct this. The next thing I'm throwing on is the fuel rails, and I haven't showed you guys these. Talking perfection, uh, these are fully rusted. Like, I, I spent a lot of time, I think, I know I did show these on camera, but hooking up the fuel injectors and doing all that, I did not, so I wanna show you guys. That's what I did with the guys. I, I hooked everything up. Even the, the clamps that hold the fuel injectors were all rusty. I took all those off, got them all, got them all nice. Looking good, so let's start right. All right, y'all, we got hit with some rain earlier, so we're out here again and trying to get this motor fully complete. Alston over there thinks that we have a chance to actually start this today oh, it's so cranking. it's cranking today by seven how much time do we have an hour so we have an hour to get this done i'm gonna show you guys the progress i've actually got with it right now i really want to start working on some of the cool lines i'm gonna show you guys i got i ordered something pretty cool the same color as the I guess the duke blue Alston says but to the thermostat i got that one right there and then this one's pretty cool that goes on top of the motor gotta go grab a part and leave the camera here with Alston. he's gonna get the final touches kind of set up so uh, we can start this heifer. come to the final stages of putting in oil, coolant, and power steering fluid just because this motor was pre-oiled, but I pulled off the sticker and started leaking oil when we first got it, so I wanna go ahead and do the oil first just to give it time to set through the motor. We'll do coolant, power steering, and y'all, hook up this battery, and just maybe it will start. There's a bit of oil. It's court going in. Spilt that. Yeah, that's definitely lighter. I think so. No? 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We were leaking. Uh, out of the block. No. Yeah, right there. No. My finger? Walk into my finger. All right, plug that up. I think something was going to go wrong and coolant's just pouring out of the block. Apparently there's a sensor that's supposed to be there. I don't know where that sensor's at. Austin doesn't know where it's at. I'm looking at my red truck right now trying to see if we can, we can see that's how we found out. So, uh, we're on a hold right now trying to, dude, why? That's the piece we're missing. So we got her, let's throw her in. It was literally pouring coolant out of that hole right there. Moving on to old power steering fluid. The final touches were actually uh, last time I was driving this truck the green lights shut off in the video Which really weird I think I was hitting the mud so hard So we're tightening all that up right now It's the first thing I'm gonna check to make sure that like as a checklist green lights should come on uh, System's probably gonna be all messed up. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to expect But I'm gonna have to turn the truck on off on off prime the system get oil pump working Blah blah blah. Power steering's probably gonna whine because I had to drain all of it out, but everything's filled up to the tippy top. Y'all been waiting for this for probably close to two months now. It's been a long, a long process coming to this point of hopefully turning this truck over and getting it to start. Y'all don't know about this truck. There's a whole background, so I've not used this key in such a long time. This is the only key I used to use for two years. Whew. Ready, Carney? She tight, boy. She tight. First time unlocking her. There's probably a wasp in here. Oh, the smell. Off the jump, my my high beam center are on and they're not. Green lights still didn't come on. The bar is not what we're talking about. All these lights light up. And my oil pressure is legit upside down where it's not even supposed to be. So, don't know about that. I'm gonna keep on trying to clear the system, see what we can get going. Well, that's not good. Uh, Turning my key in is not even making a noise. All my lights are flashing in my dash. We're not getting, we're not getting power. All right, y'all, so next day, uh, I think I missed a couple of grounds. We have to try to figure out what we did today. It could be bad from the motor being locked up and me trying to start it when it blew up. Um, there's a lot of different things that could be wrong. So what we're gonna do is starting off, just disconnect the battery. Just kind of take our time on it today. Just look over everything. Make sure that all of our grounds are good. If I missed any, plug them up. I'm gonna film up to us just like tweaking with stuff, guys. I'm gonna find something interesting that I know that could be a problem. I'm gonna turn you guys on and show you just in case you don't have this problem. Once again, I hope the old Tahoe gets running today. Right, well, I don't know how I did it, but I actually missed the main ground for the battery. So we're trying to match trucks back and forth. I think I got it in the right spot. Just turned my key in. The headlights are back off. Oil pressure's back where it needs to be, and um, I think she's ready to start. Well, it might, it might not, but let's give it a try. You priming it a few times? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, every, everything fixed itself, but we're still, we're still missing something. So let's get back to it. You got a big ass dent in your hat. Lack of brain. All right, we spent the last two hours. We had to fully take off the intake again because we couldn't get behind the motor to mess with the grounds. Guys, if this doesn't start here, I don't know what what else to really do. Uh, we might have blown some fuses. I don't, we're just gonna we're just gonna try to start. I don't even have the the intake on right now just because we have to take it back apart. So uh, let's just turn the key and try to see what happens. The halos are working. Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, hell yeah, dude. All right, that's a good sign. And the fogs. All right, well, we got that back rolling. Try to start her. All right, that's something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh. What's that smell? All right, well, the battery just started to die on us really quick, so I'm gonna try to jump her off. He freaking ran though, just for a second. It did have a really awful smell to it. I don't know, we're still in the mix. We're going, we're going to hook her up and see what else she does. but it's not because the truck needs to get it tuned but that's what this motor is going to sound like. Right, guys well the truck as you can see is back running 
Uh, I just put it in drive and reverse really quick just to see if like trans was catching or whatnot. And when you put it in drive, it's like kind of really hit the brakes. The truck's wanting to jump forward. All the, there's a lot of stuff that's really off with this truck. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it in the video, but at one point, guys, like I looked down, there was fuel pouring out the bottom of the motor. I think one of the fuel injectors wasn't clicked in all the way. Um, we have some smoking coming from the hood. I'm not really sure what, what's that about. Just a new engine, maybe. Um, like the belt wasn't burning. It looked like it was coming from the manifolds, and I did a high heat paint on those. Maybe it was just burning it off. Maybe it's just burning off stuff inside the exhaust. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. So there's a lot of stuff, but the fact that we have it running. Oh god, dude, we have it running after two long months. We had a really bad setback today, guys. Not think we're gonna be able to get it done, but that's, that's just what it's about. We push through, we do it. So I'm happy. As soon as I did put it in drive, though, the check engine light came on, and it wasn't. It didn't come on while it was idling. So you could tell the system does not know what the fuck is going on right now. So. That's why it's, uh, it's a little confused. Uh, we have to get it to Mayhem. It's like 40 minutes from me. Uh, they'll fully, for like $600, it's a PCM tune, I think. They fully go through, make sure that everything is okay. And guys, for $600, bucks, after, after having a lot of money into this truck, you might as well take it to an LS specialist if you're going to order this motor. Um, if I was to try to drive it right now, which most people would to get all excited, you're just going to foul the spark plugs. It's burning too rich. It's, it's not what you want to do. So. Guys, I'm, I'm excited. Truck's just gonna sit here until I take it, which will be the next couple days. Hopefully the battery don't die and they'll get me right. So, y'all, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't watched any of the other videos leading to this truck, this truck has literally all the history of my life in it. For like the last three years, it's, dude, this was my, my everything. And it kind of still is, because it's where I came from. So, y'all, go check out those videos. I appreciate you watching. Until next time, Wittenbass TV. Oh my God.